Today is USF Day here on Front Row Tampa Bay, and the university has a lot to celebrate. It is now the ninth largest public research university in the nation, and it has an annual economic impact on the Tampa Bay region of $3.7 billion, with a B, dollars. And leading the university for the past 12 years, I can't believe it's been 12 years already, Dr. Judy Ginshaft joins us, president of the University of South Florida. It's good to have you here. Well, thank you, and thank you for wearing green as well. Was my plan all along. It's USF Day here. <laughs> Got USF the mug, Day. go Bulls, That's go right. Bulls. That's I, right. I understand. Okay. Just in case you get tired of green, I did bring oh. you USF pink. <laughs> I love so pink and green. Go. It's so there lily. You <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at that. You are you are a Bulls fan, aren't you? I All am. the way. I am. I bleed green and gold, <laughs> and I'm really, really proud of our university. You know, I have to start with a quote I found online from you from a Bulls alum and Hillsborough Community College trustee. I'm going to give him credit here, Rod Gerardo. And this is what he says about you. Judy really is the face of USF. You know what I'm going to say here next? You've read no. this quote? Okay. No, I you ready? haven't. I ready? haven't. Okay. I'm a little concerned. Okay, this is what she says. Okay. When she walks in a room, the whole room gets charged up that something's going to happen. <laughs> you walk in and something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. I hope it's good, but something will happen. That's true. Uh, something actually, a lot of things, a lot of huge things have happened yes. since you came here 12 years ago. Um, this top 50 ranking into, uh, into, the, into the research universities, that's what this is yes. all about, right? That's let me huge. tell you, let okay. me tell you, I'm very right. excited. She wants this, to is tell a, me. this is a billboard that, that you will see as you're driving. And it's so important because the National Science Foundation in Washington, D.C. takes all the tally, it mm -hmm. takes the numbers from all of the federal agencies and says, okay, who has gotten X number of money, uh, amount of money across America mm -hmm, mm -hmm. out of the 4,000 institutions? And USF is now among the top 50 mm -hmm. research universities in terms of our research expenditures. So, so. move over, <laughs> Duke. Move over. <laughs> USF is here. Move over, University of Michigan. USF is here. Yeah, there yeah. are only two universities from Florida that are in this, and USF is wow. one of the two, and the other is 100 years older than we are. So it is absolutely phenomenal, and we have our fantastic researchers and of course our outstanding uh, researcher in particular in diabetes which is mm -hmm. the he's the largest researcher across america in diabetes research uh, what, what a proud distinction and, and i remember uh, when you first came to tampa bay and i was uh, working on the news here that that there were all these stories that said dr ginshaft has said uh, this university is going to become a center for research, and I'm going to make that happen. And why, when you came here, was that such a, such a passion for, for you? What was important about that for this university? Well, you know, we are a public university, and part of being a public university requires that you educate your students very well, but you also are obligated to give back to your community, to make your community better, to make life better for the state, for the United States. That's what public universities are mm -hmm. all about. Mm -hmm. So we're about not just teaching, but research and discovering the best practices, whether it be in education, whether it be in the healthcare field, whether it be in the arts. We're about establishing new models and uh, giving back to our community. It's wonderful that we're in a fabulous metropolitan region mm -hmm. and an urban university where we have a lot of issues uh, publicly to yes. deal with and, and our researchers are meeting those issues and working not just in one discipline but interdisciplinarily so that if you're trying to cure diabetes or you're trying to cure heart disease, you just don't come with one. You come with all mm -hmm, different mm -hmm. points of view, 
work together in order to solve the problem. And the other thing I think has been very creative and very successful is USF's uh, partnerships and alliances with the business community. Yes. Yeah, yes. Tell me a little about that. We, you know, it enriches the students' education to be able to have internships and practicum experiences and co-op experiences. And we hope that it's good for the employers too because you get um, not only extra help, but you also learn from the young people that come out and you can make a decision about your future workers. Mm -hmm. So I know in communications, you have right. people at your station that are communication majors from USF. Oh, and sure. you get to try them out. And that is something that is on the cover of our new magazine, another prop. Mm -hmm. This happens to be with the Nielsen Company. Oh, yes. And you'll see not only with their employees, but many of our students are a part of uh, mm -hmm. working there as an internship. So we work with all different kinds of venues, all different kinds of companies, and um, I hope that it helps the, um, the region that we're in as sure. well. Now, I hope you stay tuned if you're watching because uh, a little later on we're going to have a whole segment and uh, someone from Nielsen is going to be here, traditionally known as a rating service, but now right. very information and data gathering and that alliance with USF is, is very, very strong. And I do want to mention USF has certainly made national headlines, some controversial, you know, some not, but the one that, that sticks out in my mind was during the BP oil spill yes. when they were denying that this oil was flowing into the Gulf and it was a, some USF researchers who said, uh-uh, we, we find that different findings, and their research confirmed that it was not as BP was saying, and that was a huge coup for national publicity. It really, it really was. We have uh, the Florida Institute of Oceanography, which is at the uh, port in St. Petersburg, where we have our research vessels. The minute that our marine scientists learned about the BP oil spill. They were out in the research mm -hmm, vessels mm -hmm. with some students as well and, and tracking the oil spill. They could fingerprint, as they call it, or identify which oil was from BP and which, which oil was not. And so when they found a plume that was away from the original oil spill, BP at that point in time said that is not, that does not come from our mm -hmm. spill, mm -hmm. but in fact it did. Mm -hmm. In fact it did. And you, the USF researchers figured that yes. out. You grew up in Canton, Ohio and did some secretarial work growing up in your father's <laughs> meat packing yes. company. Yes. Uh, did, were you offered a slot to uh, help run the company and decided, oh, no, I want to go university route? Absolutely. Absolutely. When I received my um, bachelor's degree, my father said, you've got to come into the company. Mm -hmm. You can do something with personnel yes. or yes. something. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm going to no. go on my own. And mm -hmm. I did. And so, um, uh, but I'm very close. It's a very close family. And my brother is still uh, running the, the firm. And, and so you can ask me anything about the meat business as well, <laughs> but I'd much rather talk about USF. Do you eat meat? I do you eat, do meat. eat meat. I do. I do. But what what did that teach you though, growing up in a family business that impacts your decision making today? It, it's a huge um, asset for me. It was wonderful to be able to understand um, organizations, management, leadership ways to behave, how to conduct yourself, what happens when workers look at you, employees look at you to see what your reaction mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. and then they, they, take, they take their cues from the leader. And that, that's very important. That was very important. So it, it really helped me a great deal. And it also um, assists me with learning about town and gown. So town and gown. town and gown meaning meaning gown is usually the university and town business leaders and sometimes some of the people that work at the university don't relate as well in town mm -hmm. as they do at the university so being able to walk both 
both pathways quite well yes. is an asset for me. It really makes, makes a difference. Is that something you learned from your dad? Something I learned from my dad. My, my other um, very important contribution that they gave to me is first you learn, then you earn, then you return. Huh. Always give back to your community. Wow. They gave us so much in allowing us to learn and earn. Now it's time to give back. Wow. So service and being a part of uh, community organizations mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. helping the community build not only your time but your generosity, anything that you can do to help the community is vitally important. Yeah. And you've been here 12 years now. You are a part of the community. And so what allows you to stay here and stay, you know, I know you, but they've tried to hire you lots of other places. I read that. Headhunters yes. <laughs> have come after you a lot. And Dr. Ginshaft has said, no, I'm staying right here in Tampa Bay. Uh, why? I believe that the University of South Florida is so exciting. You can make a difference. As an individual, you can make a difference. As a matter of fact, this past spring, the Washington Post named USF as one of the five up-and-coming universities. Mm. Mm. And this is a place that has a lot of energy, a lot of movement, and we're moving forward. You don't really find that at a lot of different places. As a matter of fact, in our um, fundraising campaign, they were trying to decide what is the personality of USF. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you go to some older universities and you go into their library, it looks like a Harry mm -hmm. Potter library. Mm -hmm. And we right. said, no, that's not USF. And so we, we, we went through a different um, ar array of options. And the people that were helping us said, we've got it. USF is unstoppable. Nobody oh would have believed 20 years ago that we would be in the top 50 research mm -hmm. universities. Mm -hmm. Nobody would believe the kind of, that we're the ninth largest university. Right. We right. have started school today. Today is our first day of school <laughs> for 2000, fall 2012. And uh, we're welcoming 47,584 wow. students. Wow. There are about 40,000 huh. plus on our Tampa campus, um, about 5,000 on the USF St. Pete campus, and the rest is on the Sarasota Manatee campus. So wow. um, nobody would have thought. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And so unstoppable is a really mm -hmm. good term for us to have as a, as a university. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so what what do you do in your leisure time? Do you have any leisure time? Well, I do. Tampa Bay I has do. lots to do. What do you lots do here? Lots of lots to do. Well, I love going to all of our athletic events. Yes, so you do. The, on, <laughs> last Saturday, I was at volleyball. On Sunday, I was um, I was at. Um, we welcomed uh, all 500 student athletes at the university, and um, I said, "Now you know." You are role models, uh -huh. my uh -huh. student athletes. I said, now, if you see anybody else at the University of South Florida walking around with another shirt from Florida, <laughs> off with their shirt. I've heard you do that. Off you see them with, with a gator shirt, shirt take Absolutely. it off, put a bull shirt on. It's all about pride. <laughs> pride. Now, now, football season's about to gear up here. Yes. Is that right? Yes, so, it is. So, what do, you, what do you say about the team? We're ready to win our BCS Bowl. Are you? Are you now? <laughs> we are ready. We hope the coach and the team is ready, but we are ready. Yeah, I, I think Skip Holtz is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And I, I, um, I know we're going to have a very good season. All right. So we're Dr. excited. Dr. Judy Genshaf, pleasure to speak with you as always. Come visit the uh, university. I, I will now that I have my pink and green uh, bull shirt. That's you'll right. Love this. Adorable, That's right. right? Just go precious. Bulls. Uh, go Bulls. Go Bulls. All right. You know who else is ready right now? <laughs> Frank's ready over here. Uh, a pioneer in the field of the infomercial. Hey, Frank. 